Can you talk about the contribution of Bobby Lopez and Christine Anderson Lopez with their music, and especially for their song, Remember, Remember Me, which resonated not only in Mexico, but in countries throughout the world with strong traditions of honoring the dead? Sure. Uh, we have been friends with Bobby and Christine for a long time. I was a huge fan of uh, their work. I always wanted to work with them. So when we started developing Coco, initially we thought maybe we would do a full-on musical. So we started working with Bobby and Kristen. They wrote a bunch of songs for us, including Remember Me. Um, ultimately, we ended up going down a different path, but Remember Me remained the bedrock of the movie. Um, and uh, we just can't imagine the movie without it. So they, they made a huge contribution to the film. Uh, your win represents a victory for uh, all Latinos, you know, because your, your movie validates our culture, that our culture could win an Oscar. Um, so what could we do to, so other Latino directors, U.S. born Latino directors specifically can have opportunities to direct movies starring Latinos, and what would you tell those directors, uh, you know, at this moment? Um, you know, uh, it, 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 it takes an awareness of the fact that, um, you know, strong storytellers come from all sorts of places. Um, at Pixar, that is something that, um, you know, uh, we are putting a lot of focus on and, and creating a lot of opportunity for. And I'm very thankful for, you know, the, the, the team um, and, and for the opportunities on this film. Um, but, you know, we worked very hard to show that films about um, communities of color, films that come from particular places, have a resonance that um, can reach across the world. You've seen that with Coco. You've seen that with Black Panther. And I think you're going to see it with a lot of other films in the future. And it, it, it takes, um, you know, going hand in hand with the studio executives and the creative talent to recognize that that is a fact and, and to... Um, support each other, and, and that is happening, and we are starting to see it. It's quite good to see you here, because I read that you weren't supposed to be part of the reception of the prize, mm -hmm. but you're a co-director, co so obviously they include you, but the thing that I wanted to ask you, I read like many times that you're like of Mexican descent, but I would like you to talk a little bit about that. I mean, what part of your family is from Mexico? What mm -hmm. generation are you? Mm -hmm. Were you familiar with like, I think you grew up in California, too. So yes. You were probably very familiar with a lot of uh, Mexican tradi traditions. But I, I would like you to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, just like about the, the Mexican yeah. connection. <laughs> well, I, I uh, you know, um, of all of the people at Pixar who, when they heard that Lee and Darla were going to be making a film, about Mexico and Dia de Muertos, you know, I was one of the people who said, I need to work on that film. There is so much of my um, love and experience and, and, and uh, so much that I would love to bring to a story like that. Uh, my mother is from Jalisco. My dad is half Mexican, uh, but grew up in Whittier. And I grew up in Grass Valley, California. And so <laughs> my dad used to be a, a, in a trio band. Um, uh, and, and you, there is um, so much of my experience growing up, so much of, of the pride in coming from a family in a place that, um, you know, is, is proud of who they are. But to have this opportunity to reflect all of those experiences um, with a wonderful team at Pixar um, was something that, you know, I knew, if not now, then when. So, um, uh, you know, thank goodness for Lee and Darla for... for um, believing in this story, uh, uh, wanting to do due diligence uh, by, by culture and representation and creating this thing that has really affected the whole world. Uh, you highlighted and you thank Mexico for this movie. What does it mean, especially in these times, when you know there can be strained relationship between Mexico and the U.S.? Um, you know, we started making Coco six years ago, and it was a very different political climate, of course, than we find ourselves in now. Um, while we were making the film, we had a change uh, of presidency, and a lot of things started to be said about Mexico and about um, Mexican Americans that was um, unacceptable. And um, while we were making the film, we began to feel a new urgency to get the movie out into the world, to get a positive message about the beauty of Mexico, the beauty of the Mexican people, uh, the beauty of their culture and traditions. Uh, into the world and also uh, give um, Mexican and Mexican-American kids something to look up to, something to aspire to, and to see a bit of themselves up on screen. And um, the entire time we were making the film from that point on, 
Uh, we, we just, we knew how important it was and we tried to make the best film, the most authentic, the most uh, respectful film that we could. And it just means the world to us that the film ended up being the biggest movie of all time in Mexico um, and that it's done so well all around the world, including in places like China uh, that you wouldn't expect a film like Coco to do well in, but um, its messages of, about family and the importance of remembering our loved ones and keeping their memories alive um, seem to resonate with everyone around the world. Obviously, you mentioned uh, that representation is so important um, with these films, and I noted that you guys uh, thanked your LGBT partners um, on stage. So would you say that LGBT representation and storylines and characters are something we might see in the future within Pixar films? I mean, that's a dream, yes. I mean, I think that, I think that every, every, uh, every kind of diversity, LGBTQX, um, you know, Coco's a great example of diversity uh, uh, and representation and the success of that. And I, I think that we'd both be very excited, all of us, all of us would be very excited to have characters like that represented as a protagonist role in every realm. And so that would be a dream, that would be a hope, and we are all talking about all kinds of things like that right now.